hi guys welcome back to my channel in today's video we'll be looking at how to configure static ip address as well as a dns on a parrot os device so this is a, a brand new install and if you're looking to set up a static ip we can use we can use the gui to do that the first thing we can do is check the what ip we have so in the terminal we can use ip address command so we see that we have the IP of 172.16.1.107/24. So now that we know the IP address, let's go ahead and see if we can actually configure a new one, and uh, it's going to be a static IP. So we'll go to System right here, go to Preferences, then go to Internet and Network, then Advanced Network Configuration. In this uh, Network con uh, Connections window, we'll go to wired connection one then we'll click on the settings for it this icon here to edit then we go to ipv4 settings now you can change this if you're looking to use by default it uses dhcp if you're looking to use um, static you have to select manual and then here's where you can add a new one if you don't already have one or you can edit whichever one that you have so let's say for instance we didn't have this one so i'll, I'll delete this one i'll add a new one i'll put 172.16.1.108 the mask is 255.255.255.0 then you have to put your default gateway uh, 172.16.1.1 and now that's added and then here's where you have to put your dns servers you can put one or more than one and you can separate them using commas here so we'll add one uh let's say one dot one dot one dot one and if you if you're looking to find out what available free dns servers are, are there you can just google it uh you can open your browser and just search for free dns servers you have google public dns you have cloudflare.1.1 .1. you have quad9 so most popular one is uh google ones so i'm, I'm using the 8.8.8 .8 .8 for google and also the 1.1.1 .1 for cloudflare now I'll go ahead and uh, close this and then once you have the information input you can save here and then you can close this you can x out now back in the terminal if we check the ip we find that it didn't change it's still showing the dot 107 we'll need to restart the network services so the command is sudo service uh, network manager restart put in your password and then it says connection established so now we'll check the uh, ip address again using the ip address command and now we we, we see that we have, we have two ips we have uh, 172.16.1.1 or 7 and uh, dot one or eight so this is showing us the global secondary and that's not what we want what we'll do is we'll do a reboot to see if that fixes the issue we only need one static ip so we'll do a reboot okay you're back at the login window we just put in our password we'll open the terminal again we'll do ip address and this time we only have the 172.16.1.108 so the one or one or seven has been removed. So you you need to do a reboot in order for it to take the new uh, static IP address. Now, when it comes to DNS, if we needed to check that, we can try NS lookup. We can put in our website, let's say google.com. So as you can see here, it's showing us the. Uh, server which is the dns server is at the 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 .8.
so that's it for this video that's how we actually change the IP address to a static IP on a Parrot OS and that's how we also change the our DNS server so I hope this information has been useful I'll see you all in my next video thanks bye